Hello, in this video tutorial I will show you some of the most important mouse and key combinations for zooming in the 2D and 3D view. We start with the 2D view and in the first step we maximize the 2D view. To have a good overview we select the function view and we click on show all or we press the shortcut position 1 or home for the function show all. With this function Cat Villa zooms automatically into the closest position possible while still displaying all the components of the project. If we activate now the environment and we select again the function show all or press the shortcut position 1 or home. Cat Villa zooms automatically into the closest position while still displaying our project and the whole environment. Now we deactivate the environment and we press again the shortcut position 1 or home for the function show all. Now we are again in the closest position while still displaying all the components of our project. The next function is the standard zoom function. We press CTRL and we turn the mouse wheel to zoom out and into the view. As you can see when zooming in and zooming out we always return into the same position. The reason therefore is that this kind of zooming does not shift the floor plan, it only zooms in and out. With the next function we can zoom to the position of our cursor. We move our cursor for example into the middle of this window and now we turn the mouse wheel to zoom into the position of our cursor. To zoom out again we turn our mouse wheel into the opposite direction. Next we will zoom into the position of this door. We position our cursor and we turn the mouse wheel. After it we zoom out of the view again. With the next function we can move our floor plan to the left and to the right. Therefore we press the shift key and we turn the mouse wheel. If you turn the mouse wheel downwards the view will go to the left. If you turn the mouse wheel upwards the view will go to the right. With the following key combination we can move the view up or down. Therefore we hold CTRL and shift and we turn the mouse wheel. When we turn the mouse wheel up, the view goes down. When we turn the mouse wheel down, the view goes up. The last function I will show you in the 2D view are the arrows. With the arrows we can move our view down, we can move the view up, we can move it to the left and we can move it to the right. You have seen now all important functions in the 2D view. Now we will hold the CTRL key and we will click on 3D view to switch to the 3D view. Here in the 3D view we can also select the function show all or we press the shortcut position 1 or home for the function show all. Now the whole project gets displayed. We select now for example the environment and we click again on the function show all. Now the whole project including the environment gets displayed. We deselect the environment and press again position 1 or home for the function show all. When we press the left mouse button and move our mouse we can stepless rotate and tilt the project.
The next function is the standard zoom function in the 3D view. Therefore, we hold CTRL and we turn the mouse wheel. As you can see, same as in the 2D view, we always get back into the same position. An alternative option for zooming with CTRL and mouse wheel is the stepless zooming with the right mouse button. Therefore, we press and hold the right mouse button and we move the mouse upwards or downwards. With the next function, we can zoom on the position of our cursor in the 3D view. We move our cursor, for example, in the middle of this window and now we turn the mouse wheel. We zoom out of the view again and now we zoom, for example, into this area. Therefore, we turn again the mouse wheel. If we zoom now, for example, at this position and now we turn the project with the left mouse button, we can see that we don't turn anymore around the project. The reason therefore is that the rotation center of our project has been moved and is now outside the project. To bring the rotation center back into the middle of our project, we select again the function show all or we press the shortcut position 1 or home. When we turn our project now, we can see that the rotation center is back to the middle of our project. With the following function, we can move our project up and down. Therefore, we press and hold CTRL and SHIFT and we turn the mouse wheel downwards to move the project upwards or we turn the mouse wheel upwards to move the project downwards. The next function we use to move the view to the left or to the right. Therefore, we press and hold SHIFT and we turn the mouse wheel. An alternative to the last two functions is the stepless shifting. Therefore, we press and hold SHIFT and the left mouse button at the same time and now we can stepless shift our project. The following functions are designed for situations without a mouse or keyboard, for example when using a touchscreen PC or tablet. This function is a control panel. With the help of this control panel, we can move, zoom, tilt and shift the view. To open the panel, we click on Show Panel. Here we can rotate the view down, rotate the view up, Move the view up, move the view down, move forward, move backward, move to the left, move to the right, rotate left and rotate right. To close the panel again, we click on Hide Panel. Now you have seen some of the most important functions to move and zoom the view in the 2D and 3D view. A summary of the mouse and key combinations in this video tutorial is available on our website catvilla.com at the support area. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials, visit our website catvilla.com.